Okay, I will explain what is mechanics of materials, what is the subject about. Before that, we need to know what is solid mechanics. Uh, solid mechanics is actually the study of the response of or the behavior of solid bodies against loads. Loads are actually external loads, uh, external forces. If there's a solid body, you know what is solid. And different loads are being applied on the body. The loads can be mechanical forces, or it can be thermal loads, temperature. It can be a fluid interacting with the solid body. So how the solid body respond to the uh, external forces, this is solid, solid mechanics. The response of solid bodies against external loads is sol solid mechanics. Response can be of different types and we study it in different subjects, in different branches of solid mechanics. So majorly solid mechanics can be divided into two branches. Mechanics of rigid bodies, solids can be rigid. Mechanics of rigid bodies and the mechanics of deformable bodies. Rigid bodies are those bodies which are considered uh, not to deform under any kind of load. Their shapes cannot be changed. Uh, their, their shape cannot be changed, their uh, geometry cannot be changed actually, uh, cannot be changed against loads. Deformable bodies as apparent by their name, a deformable body can be deformed, its shape can be changed uh, after applying a load, after applying an external force. So the rigid bodies mechanics, uh, which, uh, which is further divided into statics or engineering dynamics, we have already studied these subjects, engineering statics or engineering dynamics. In statics and dynamics, uh, we usually study diff, uh, rigid bodies where we do not uh, study about deformation or changes uh, into the body, inside the body. We just study the external reaction of the forces external effects of the forces. What are the external effects? For example, there is a tire on ground and the, the load of the vehicle on the tire is transferred to the ground and the ground applies a, a, a reaction force. This is an external effect of the applied force. The tire or the vehicle is applying a load on the ground and the ground is applying an external force and a, a, a reaction force which is an external effect of the force. So this weight and the response is a reaction force. So force and its external effect. But uh, we, we are not studying any kind of deformation or strains or stresses occurred into the tire. So this is mechanics of rigid bodies. If they consider acceleration equal to zero, so it is statics. And if the acceleration is not equal to zero and we are talking about the moment of different bodies under forces, then it is dynamics. Okay. In mechanics of deformable bodies, we study the internal effect of effects of forces. Internal effects of forces. Internal effects of forces are loads. What are internal effects? They are deformation and stresses. The same tire under uh, its low, uh, the, uh, the same tire uh, uh, will deform or can be compressed uh, against the ground due to the weight of the vehicle. So this compression or the deformation occurred in the tire is actually the internal effect of the force. Similarly, if there's any stress uh, occurred in the tire, it is internal effect due to the external load. 
Similarly, different machine components or mechanical components are in contact with each other. Due to the contact, there is a reaction force of each body and the other body. It is external effect. But due to that reaction force, there are internal effects. There are deformations, the change in shape and the internal stresses in the body. This is uh, a study of deformable bodies. And the study of deformable bodies or the mechanics of deformable bodies is actually mechanics of materials. Mechanics of materials is actually mechanics of deformable bodies. So what is def what are deformable bodies? The bodies uh, responding, uh, the bodies uh, uh, experiencing deformation against external loads and the measurement of those deformations and stresses, internal effects of the body is actually uh, mechanics of deformable bodies are mechanics of material. So in this subject, we study about the internal effects, the deformations and the stresses, or you can say the strains and the stresses. These are the two most important concepts of mechanics of material, stress and strain. So throughout the subject, we study different types of stresses. If there are different types of loads, so there will be different types of stresses. For example, normal stress or a shear stress or a bending stress, due to bending or transverse load if there is a beam element. Similarly, torsional stress, a torsional load may, may produce uh, shear stresses and normal stresses, then thermal stresses, then loads can be of static nature or uh, dynamic nature, can be live load, can be a impact load, it can be a fatigue load. So we study the stresses and strains occurred in bodies, in solid bodies due to external loads in the subject of mechanics of materials. Thank you.